If you're not reaching your goals, that's your fault. What's up, superheroes? So, uh, check this out. I got a text message from one of the homies pretty recently. And basically, I'm actually going through it again now. Basically, the text message was just telling me how they need this, that, and the other. They need amino acids, and they need protein, this a particular type of protein. I mean, just a real detail, a real detail text message about different things in their, in their fitness level. I mean... I really appreciate the text message because I like anybody, you know, if you're going to, if you, if you want to do something with yourself, you want to progress in a particular area, one of the first things you got to have is knowledge of the area. And so I was very appreciative and excited that that person went and looked at some of the things they needed to do. Then today, uh, and maybe, I think maybe yesterday also a situation had came up and a person was telling me they need this, that, and the other. And then I got another text message showing me somebody had got some different supplements. And today coming out of the gym, <clears throat> today coming out of the gym, because I'm thinking about changing where I work out at some of the times too. So the day at the gym when I'm working out, it hit me, man. And the the the... The world that we live in today, I'm very appreciative of it because we got to be, because we have so many options, so many choices, so many different things. We got a buku of supplements. Uh, we got amino acids. You got protein. You got glutamine. You got, I mean, you got creatine. I mean, so many different, but multi, you got so many different supplements that can help you. We got 50 different gyms. You want to go to a powerlifting gym, you could go. You want to go to a CrossFit gym, you could go. You could go do Zumba. It's so many different options, man, out there. You got to be appreciative of all of those different options. But somewhere along the way, we mistaken those options for the determining factor and even playing a role in whether or not we're successful. Supplements, I take supplements. Supplements are great. They do help you in the area that you need help in. Different gyms are great. If you want to be a power lifter, then it's probably more advantageous for you to live in a power lifting gym. So do not get that confused. What I'm saying, we got to go back and put the onus, the responsibility on us. I got to put the responsibility on me whether or not I'm successful in what I'm attempting to do. Not, do I have creatine? Not, do I have protein? Not, and do, do I work at, at the YMCA? Do I work at, at this gym? Do I work at, at that gym? That does not dictate whether or not I'm successful. And it shouldn't dictate whether or not you're successful. We can't get it confused. Yes, those stuff does help. But it's not the reason that you're successful. The reason you're successful is because you go and you put that work in. Continuously, every day, you're working towards that particular goal. Not because these outside things. You got to think, when it comes to health and fitness, man, there's been people that have been in shape for years. A lot of our fitness things that we get, we get from the Romans. And, and we get from, you know, people of, of, of that generation. They didn't have those gyms. They didn't have creatine and protein and all this and all this other stuff. But they still was massively strong men, strong women. All these things were available. All these things were wonderful. But they didn't have all this other stuff. So that couldn't have been, that couldn't have been the reason for it. That couldn't have been the reason for it. We got to get back to putting the responsibility, the onus on us for whether or not we're being successful. That bleeds into the other parts of your life. You have to take responsibility. And that also, you got to take responsibility, man, even for the small things you do correct and the big and small things you do wrong, you got to take responsibility. When it comes to working out, I didn't have a car. I, my, I didn't have my lights. I didn't have a car. I asked for rides. I took the bus. I worked out in different, if I worked outside. If, 
I mean, you gotta do those things if you gotta get to work. You gotta do those things. You gotta get a bus pass. You don't get money. You gotta bum a ride from somebody. But it can't be the reason why you don't be successful. You are the reason. I am the reason why I don't progress. I am the reason. You are the reason that you don't reach those levels of heights that you wanna reach. And that's it. Let's stop putting the onus, stop putting the responsibility on whether or not we got all these things that the world provides. Because those things, although they do help, they're not the answer. They're not the thing that stop you. They're not the thing that makes it happen. What makes it happen is focus, determination, consistency, resiliency. Resilient. About your goal. That is what you have to do to be successful. Appreciate checking me out. Appreciate listening to me. Appreciate letting me share my mind with you guys. CJ Washington Jr., make sure you like it, subscribe, link, and every other thing that comes along with social uh, networking. Links and stuff will be in the description down low. Thanks again, man. CJ Washington Jr., Superhero Fitness. Yes, sir.